that all right? Thanks. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> hey. <laughs> It's a doll. Hey. the whole bay. Is this where you used to come with Fritz? I don't see anything special about it. I mean, it's lovely, yes, but... You're wrong. It's mysterious. Besides, we were kids. I remember one summer, long ago, we found a dog lying dead. Someone had... Oh, please. Someone had strangled it. It was a horrible sight. It made me sick. If it wasn't for Fritz, oh, I'd have... Oh, stop it. Christian, there's a dead woman down there. <gasps> Who are you? What do you want? I'm sorry. I, I thought that... You look dead from up on the hill. What happened to you? It must have been the sun. I, I must have fainted. I don't remember. You feel better oh. now? 
Yes, I feel much better. I'm sorry, my name's Barbara. I'm Xenia and this is Christian. What you need is a double scotch. That'll pick you up. I'll get it. It wouldn't be wise to leave a couple of women alone. What made you think I was dead? We were talking about a dog. It was strangled. So, was only the power of suggestion. <laughs> Perhaps. Where are you from? Well, I'm... Uh... Christian! I can't find it! Excuse me. Disappeared. What is it? Tucania. What's that? An Etruscan burial city or a talking bird? What did you say that name is? To Kenya. Ciao. Hey, you're back. Oh. Thank you, darling. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Fine. Good to see you. Have a drink. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Come on, honey, let's go on the poop deck. everything. Thanks. Sounds like you're having a nice boring time. <laughs> How'd you know about the party? We don't know each other. We're well, just passing by. I saw the name Tucania. Got curious. What is it, a bird? No, a yacht. Mine. <laughs> Do you know Barbara? Why? You look at her like the two of you robbed the bank together. Not yet. Got an aspirin by any chance? <laughs> Why, don't you feel well? No, I don't. Aren't you lucky? No, Alice. It means I'm not pregnant. Congratulations. Have a drink to celebrate. Come with me. I'll give you an aspirin. Are you angry? Well, aren't you even going to ask me why I left today? Who's Alex? Let's say it's a friend. Rich, possessive, sympathetic, who's also in love with me. <laughs> Poor Alex. Oh, courtesy isn't exactly your strong point. I know. And yet I'd like to use a little courtesy with you. And gentleness, and tenderness. <laughs> That's funny. That's not the reaction I usually provoke. It's because I like you. Seriously. You never give up, do you? <laughs> that moon doesn't bother you? There's no moon in my motel room. I was right. You're a sweet, sweet whore. <laughs> okay, let's go. But you have to shave your beard off first. What? Your sweet, sweet whore doesn't take any payments. But she does have her whims. <laughs> You're crazy. I could have you now, here. And you'd like it even with the beard. I have a razor in my room. Big, sharp, and sexy.
What will you have? A coffee, please. You want me to... Yes. Apart from the fact that it scratches me, I'm very suspicious of men with beards. Okay, okay. It's not the first time that a convict had to change his appearance. What do you do? Plastics. I'm the major stockholder in my brother's company. Asking too much of you? I'm afraid you could ask me for anything. <laughs> well, why you shave? I'll create some atmosphere, okay? Don't put all the lights out. Everything all right? Keep your lovely beard and leave. It's really a very silly game. No, in fact, it's a beautiful game. And I'm not going to leave, even if you threaten to kill me. Well, in which case, get started. I think you're an exceptional woman, capable of miracles. Close the door, will you? Do you mind?
doing? Destroying my bathroom? I've killed a man I never saw before. It's not possible. You're joking. I'm not joking. A man. I killed a man. Maybe you... Maybe he wanted... Come and see. Come on, maybe you know who he is. Who he was. No. No, I'm not coming in there. We have to phone the police. No. Too hard to explain. They won't believe us. Um, they can't believe first us. First, we should decide exactly what to say. But I'm not calling the police. I'm calling my brother. Maybe you shouldn't call your brother or the police. Maybe you shouldn't call anyone just now. Oh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and then we can decide what to do. You mean run away? Yes. You said yourself it would be too difficult to explain. Let's not have a scene, all right? The setting's all wrong. Let's go inside. What do you want, Alex? I want you to come with me. Listen, you have no right to ask. You've had your fun, now go. Get in the car. Where are you taking her? For a drink. You can come along. We have a few things to clarify after what's happened. Don't you agree? playing a useless, stupid game, Alex. What do you hope to gain by it? You? For God's sake, Christian, what's wrong? You look like you just murdered someone. What the hell do you mean? Just what I said. Why do you follow us? I'm sure it was you. Christian! Christian, we must behave like sensible human beings. You're coming with me to Monte Carlo tomorrow morning. A change of scenery will do you good. Jane, the metal. I must have left the metal over there. Well, what do you say? You leave with me and Christian just leaves. If he wants to keep out of trouble, okay? Well, well, well. <laughs> so the kid isn't quite the fool he pretends to be.
would you bag? It's a rubber doll. We found it tied up to a tree. No kidding. Yeah, with a knife stuck in it. Hello? Hello. It's Christian. Is my brother still at the factory? This time of night? Mr. Christian, there's nobody here but me, the watchman. Try tomorrow morning. How'd you get here? I ran away. I got a lift from a truck driver. I was going straight to the motel, but then I recognized your car and... Did you get the chain? Is everything all right? The body. That man's body. It's gone. Disappeared. It's not in the bathroom. But that's not possible. Are you sure? Well, also, the automatics disappeared. This, it's just a blood stain. But that must mean that he's only wounded. You didn't kill him. He's alive. Or dead. Someone took the body away. You mean like an accomplice? I don't know. It's also absurd. Meaningless. And what's absurd is dangerous. Maybe, maybe he was after someone else and it was all a misunderstanding. Who else? Or maybe Alex sent him. That's why he was waiting outside. You mustn't get mixed up in this. Go. You listen to me. I'm already in it up to my neck. And if it hadn't happened in my room, I'd still have wanted to help you. But don't you realize, if he's only wounded, he'll try again. If he's dead and, and he has an accomplice, then, then someone else could be, could be looking for you, someone else wanting to kill you. I can't leave you now. Please, Barbara. We have to hide, to gain time to think. I know I have a girlfriend who has a house not far from here. She's a Brazilian painter and she left for Rio two weeks ago. The place is empty. Do you have the keys? No, but it's easy enough to break in. I'm telling you for the last time, I want you out of this mess. We'll get out of it together. You'll see. much noise. For heaven's sake, I've told you, there's no one here. I don't like this place. I don't know why, but it bugs me. Let's go back, let's get out of here. Oh, Christian, not now. Do you have a jack in the car? <laughs> We can pay for the glass later. <clears throat> you say your girlfriend paints? Yes, why? I don't know. Everything is so, so dull. She's got some good booze. Somebody drank out of this a short time ago. He was probably the caretaker. He comes by now and then, just to check things over. Better have a look around.
They're birds of prey. One of Pat's crazy passions. Anyway, it wouldn't be for us. Nobody knows we're here. That's better. Barbara. What is it? Come here. What's happening? Look. He can't possibly have seen us arrive. The car's parked on the other side. He's spying on us. Ridiculous. I think it was just some tissue coincidence. Can't be anything else. Relax. Probably just a tourist looking at the tower. I suppose he was cruising by, looked up and got curious. He was looking at us, I'm sure of it. No. No use. I tried every switch. Maybe they disconnected the electricity. We can't stay in the dark. I can't take it. Well, there must be a central switch or a fuse box somewhere, but where? Did you try the garage? Oh, no, I didn't. I'll go and look. Wait. I'll go with you. Stop it. It's only the wind. <gasps> You'll stop right there if you know what's good for you. Who are you? What are you doing here? I think you'd better tell us before I bring the police here. You're trespassing in our home. It isn't true. It doesn't belong to you. No, you're right. We live here, though. We rented the house nearly a month ago, didn't we, Clorinda? Yes, it's true. My name is Malcolm. 
You're intruders. Yet I'm treating you like guests. Rather odd, isn't it? I must admit you both look scared to death. What is it? Are you here to commit some sort of heinous deed? You should have said right away that you were a friend of the proprietor. What'd you say your name was? Barbara. I've always been in love with places like this. It may sound ridiculous, but I'd be quite happy to die here. Far from the chaos of today's world. After all, if death is only the continuation of life, then what better place than this one? Why all this talk about death? Forgive me. It's because of what Clorinda and I went through last night. The two of us went out to dinner with an old friend of mine in the homicide squad. The inspector was called to a motel not far from here in a case, and we happened to go along. And good people, I hope never again to set eyes on something like that. I killed him. I killed the man at the motel. He, he attacked me. I tried to take the gun away from him, and the shot went off. Yes, yes. Is that true? Yes, but... But don't ask me who he was or, or what he was doing there, because... I don't know anything. But the two of you were together, if I understand correctly. Are you sure this intruder wasn't a woman? Yeah. I was standing there. I saw him falling. It was a man. A bad joke, in my opinion, Christian. A joke? There was no murder in the motel. The something I saw was a woman modeled in latex. Most similar to the real thing. It was found in a clump of trees just off the road with a dagger stuck in it. But I killed a man in Barbara's bathroom. That's true. I, I saw him holding a gun. When he shot it? Well, no, but just after. What about the body in the bathroom? You saw it? Well, well, I didn't see the body, but I saw Christian when he came out. Oh. But the body isn't there anymore. I went back an hour later and the body was gone. I've also had strange hallucinations, very unnerving. better now? Yes. Her feet, we're both going mad. We'd better leave. Maybe you should find your brother Fritz now. No, not yet. I have to get things straightened out. You know a man named Alex? Who's he? Hmm. Doesn't matter. I, I think it'd be best if we just left. You can pretend you never met us. That's no solution. I found you here. And you two are very real. <laughs> He'll turn me in then. He'll call his policeman friend and, and report me. And get myself thrown into the madhouse with you? I have no grounds except what you've told me and the victim has disappeared. I can't accuse you of killing ghosts in the night. Who am I to say that any killing took place? Sorry, I, I think I'm going out of my head tonight. But I have to know. I must know now. Christian! Christian! Leave him alone. He won't go far.
What do you want? Why are you following me? I didn't realize I was. I was going to see a friend at the lighthouse behind you. If you're checking on the Tucania, she pulled anchor this morning for Monte Carlo. What's happening? Take it easy. The generator may have broken down. It happens all too frequently. I've had it. Is there no way to have a little light in here? Shh. Listen. Did you hear that? It's the ghost in the tower. Stop it. I'm sure it's nothing. Probably just some rats down in the cellar. Should I? No. I'll have a look, but there's nothing to worry about. Why don't you pour yourself a drink, Christian? We have a terrible habit of not locking up around here at night. Very clever. That's all we needed. What if... What if the man I shot had decided no, Christian, to... Christian, it's impossible. I was right. It seems the generator is out of order. I'm not sure what it is, but we better leave it till tomorrow morning. Lorinda, I want to know who you really are. Christian, we can still leave. I'm too tired, Barbara. We'll leave early tomorrow morning. All right, whatever you say. This is your room, Christian. The bed is just upstairs. I think you'll find it comfy. And this is the key to your room. You can go down whenever you're ready. Till tomorrow, then. Good night. Where did you go? Were you looking for Alex? Yes. Are you sure it really happened? Or was it just your imagination? I don't know. I don't understand you anymore, Christian. I don't understand anything. I'm sorry. I... I'm sorry, Barbara, for everything. I can't take any more.
My nerves are on edge. I know how you feel. That old man, that woman, doesn't it all seem terribly absurd to you? Well, to be honest, maybe we seem a little absurd to them. Anyway, I don't like them. That's why I wanted us to leave. All night you've been acting as if... as if you had something to tell me that... that you're not saying. You're the one who doesn't talk. You're the one who's secretive. About Clorinda. She's so strange, just like you. Strange how? I don't know. You... You look at each other in a certain way as... as if you met before. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's me. My nerves are just popping out of my skin. Please go away. In all this stupid mess, something beautiful has happened to me. Something I never felt before. I feel something true, fresh. You believe me? But you must... I'm not a strong woman, Christian. You must help yourself. But believe me, I do feel something for you. I really do. You better go now and get some rest. I'm not a strong woman, Christian. Not much time left. No, it's the wrong way. And it'd be dangerous to involve her. I'm serious. Don't push it, Luca. You want out? No, no, that's not the point. The point is that I'm beginning to be afraid. The hell? Afraid of what? I don't get you. You know damn well. I'm afraid of what could happen. Why? What could go wrong? The setup's perfect. We're not running any risk. And anyway, we've got him behind us all the way.
<laughs> a dream? An hallucination? That sort of thing could happen to anyone. But I'm real. But you... Of course. It's all clear now, I'm sure of it. But then, it seems to me you weren't called Clorinda, you were called... Perhaps I just resemble someone you know. Don't you remember, too? My brother and I, two years ago, we were together, Fritz and I. No, Christian, you're mistaken. But it doesn't matter. You are strange. I've been watching you all evening, you know. I'm not strange. It's you, all of you who... Who what? Why'd you do it? Do what? Why'd you come here with your hair and your makeup like this? Only to tell me that you're not... I can tell you that I live here. I happen to love flowers. And at night I let down my hair. What's so strange in that? But you know all about Malcolm. Yes, sure I do. Please don't make complications. All I'm here to do is to help you if I can. It's him. Look, there. It's him. He's with a man. I don't see anyone, Christian. I'm telling you, he's down there with a man. Of course. It was him then, too. Him and my father. Malcolm never goes away from this house without telling me. Tell me who you really are. Why do you want to help me? You're hurting me. Go. No. <gasps> no. Stay. I need you. I don't care if you are like the others. Let go of me. Not this way, no. Just let me leave, Christian. Please don't. Not this way, please. Yes. I need you. I think I'm going mad. What's wrong, Christian? Where's Barbara? I wasn't able to stop her. I believe she went into town. Why? Without telling me? The girl has her problems and you yours. Please, stop thinking about Barbara and think of yourself. Leave. Get out. I've been living in a nightmare since yesterday. And you, Malcolm, are part of that nightmare. Listen, if you're afraid everyone around you is your enemy, you better just disappear. What else can you do? You're creating the nightmare. It's up to you to walk out of it. All right, all right. But first I have to find Barbara. Take her with me. Excuse me, Christian, but do you need the girl, or don't you trust her? Just a moment. I think now I... I really see her, Malcolm. Last night it was as if a secret door to my memory was thrown open. I'm an old man who's just crazy enough to want to help you out. 
That's all you have to know about me. Crazy? Why do you have to be crazy to... to want to help me? Tell me the truth. Did you try to call Fritz again? No. No, you see, I... I want to try and get out of this alone. For the first time in my life. Without my brother's help. Bravo. Bravo? No. No, I'm... I'm afraid of what's happening. Fritz has always understood me, has always helped me. This time I... I have a confession to make, Christian. When I first saw you last night, I felt I was watching old memories. A big industrialist, mysterious and violent suicide. The ensuing coroner's inquest. And two very young boys, the two sons who witnessed the tragedy. Yes, I know. I know that you were involved. I have to go. One child's name was Walfritz, and the other Christian. I was a reporter at the time when I covered the case. There was something about it that stayed with me long after I was done with the story. The face of the younger boy, the strange look he had. That boy, Christian, was you. And I found that same look on your face again, years later, last night. I loved my father very much. When he fell, we were left alone, my brother and I. It was horrible. It was even more horrible than you'd like to think. I'm alone. Why didn't you tell me? What do you mean there's nothing to explain? Something terrible happened here. He didn't even let me... trying, it's locked. Now, first of all, where have you managed to hide Barbara? I don't know. I was looking for her myself. I made a mistake, that's clear. I should never have let her go the other night. Now, look, Barbara means a great deal to me. I don't intend to just let you take her away like that. So the gorilla came on your orders. I don't know what you're talking about. But I do know that Barbara's risking a lot of trouble with you. I'm gonna find her, so don't bother looking for her. Keep away! Let me go! It's she. We'll have to decide. Well, she probably has already. So you can just return to your brother, hmm? Don't try to do anything stupid. Or I might lose my head.
discuss her problems and you yours. Please, Christian, stop thinking about Barbara. I'm not a strong woman, Christian. Do you need her help or don't you trust her? Malcolm, was she in the car? Where is she? Malcolm, I want to... This one has real slugs in it. You. But that's impossible. You and Malcolm were getting a little too cuddly. And Malcolm paid for it. What did you do with Barbara? I don't kill women. The only one I've done is the old fellow, if that's what you're interested in. Now do what I tell you, boy, huh? And if you're thinking, don't. All right, now get back in the car. Go on. Go on, move it! Start her up. Dive. Turn right. Nice and easy. Watch it. up to the edge. Go 
Go on. Those fools, they believed it would be enough to just scare you. Who is they? But now the orders have been changed. I'm sending you off on a one-way flight. All right, time is up. Put in neutral. Did my brother call in at all this morning? No, sir. Uh, do you want me to try and track him down? No, it's not important. In other words, you made a mess of things, a complete mess. The fact is, your idea just wasn't working, Fritz. I had to step in and make a decision. Tell him, Barbara, the way things were going. I should have known, but the damage is done, so let's just let it go. I agree, let it go. All we know is that your brother's car fell into a ravine and he was killed. You killed him? 
You told me you wanted to save him, but he killed him. It was all a lie. Come now, Fritz. I'm sure you'd agree. It only simplifies things, hmm? You want more money, Tom? No, we agreed. And it was out of friendship that I did it. Hmm. Friendship. I know it's a shock, Barbara. It's no use getting upset, though. You told me the plan was to get your brother to go to a clinic, to force him to cure himself. I believed you. I went along in good faith, thinking it was all for his own good, to save him. It was. He took me to the quarry. He told me Christian was there. He was at the bottom of a ravine, dead. Shut up. If you had followed my orders to the letter. Yeah, yeah, you and that wax-eared old Malcolm and that Clorinda. Not one of you did anything right. You three didn't get close to provoking Christian to a breakdown. Instead, it was he who got you so mixed up you couldn't see straight. If it hadn't been for Tatum. Now that you mention it, where is Tatum? Gone. I told him to take off immediately after the accident, just as you said. He took the money. He's okay. No need to worry. Rotten. Cowards. Murderers. You go on. She's staying. Uh, there are a few things I want to tell her. Hmm. Now listen to me. It was an accident like Tom said. There's no sense in making wild accusations. That friend of yours, what's his name? Alex. He knows nothing. He doesn't have anything to do with it. You just leave him alone. You better leave town, Barbara, the both of you. This money, take it. I feel I owe it to you. As for Alex, you better just say that, well, I'm sure you won't need to say anything. I don't believe you, Fritz. Your brother was killed. If you were in love with Christian, I can't help it. Only... Let me assure you, it's better this way. What do you mean? Our dear Christian was schizoid. Mad. Crazy. <sighs> For years, I kept it quiet. I tried to help him, but it was hopeless. I don't believe it. No. I knew him. You can't tell me that. You have to tell me the truth. You wanted to be rid of him. In an asylum or any other way. You wanted everything for yourself, you and your damn factory! He was crazy. Mad. Mad and dangerous. Always. He always was. And my only mistake was to let him run loose and not put him in the hospital right from the beginning. Because I loved him, do you understand? Because I loved him. You're mad, Fritz. You're really mad. Get out of here. Forget it. It's finished. Over and done with, understand? Don't do anything to make. I won't say anything to anyone. Not to anyone. Because nothing will bring Christian back. Inspector, I found these clenched in his left hand. Brakes apparently failed at the last moment, and the young plastics heir plunged to his death over 100 feet below. The gravel pit is located en route. It wasn't him, I'm sure of it. Don't you understand? It was Christian who killed Tatum, and now he's convinced that we believe he's dead. If you're right, then we have to stop him. Don't worry, friends. There won't be any mistakes this time. No, my dear friend. 
You've made too many already. I'm going to handle this. It's the only way I'll ever be completely sure. Hey, Franca. What's the matter? Don't you ever get cold? Where's Nadia? How the hell should I know? Nadia! Nadia! Oh, she was here a minute ago. Okay, she's probably gonna come. I never heard anyone get so upset over a little thing. Yeah, well, look what you're wearing. It's not my fault if you don't wear it right. I can't take much more of this. So go home and go to bed. Mm. Going my way, sweetheart? Yeah, thanks. Not at all. Hey. You remind me of a dying chicken. So what's wrong? I don't believe you're embarrassed. No, it's very nice of you to. So where are you headed? Still too early. Too early. Well, you know what I say? I say we should go and get ourselves a couple of beers somewhere it's quiet. There's a motel around the corner. Motel? Why the motel? Why? It's as good a place as any, isn't it? What's the matter? Stop here. I'm getting out. This is where I want to go. You leave you outside all night, spitting the rice all over the kitchen. <laughs> I thought you were a prowler. What do you want? I want to speak to you. It's important. Am I disturbing you? No, not at all. You were very lucky to have found me. I thought you were with Barbara, floating around on a plastic rug. Hmm? Let's not talk about Barbara. I didn't come here to talk about her, but about me. All right. I'm all ears. Go on. The trouble is, I don't know where to begin. The most absurd things happened to me in the past two days. I got mixed up in a, a horrible situation, a frightful puzzle. First the killer, and Malcolm, Clorinda. Listen. Could you be a little clearer? I'm not in the habit of solving other people's puzzles. Still, maybe you can help me. You know Fritz, my brother? I met him once or twice. The last time was at the Naive show. He's not one to rouse a woman's desires. I mean, he's not at all like you. Do you think he's capable of harming anyone? Me, for example. I don't know. I thought that you and Fritz had... Yes, we grew up together. We love each other. I love him. Do me a favor. Call him. At this time of the night, he's still in the office. Yes? Who is it? Who am I talking to? I didn't mean to intrude, sir, but I saw the light was on, and I, I'm terribly sorry about what happened. Thank you. I want to be alone, Carlo. You're welcome to take the night off. You needn't bother locking up. 
You don't want me to make my rounds? It's all right. Go ahead. And leave the gate open. I'm expecting someone. All right, sir. You did a perfect job. I was right in admiring you, Fritz. I'm sorry to bother you, but it's really me. Surprised? No, I had a vague hunch, Christian, that you'd return. Maybe it was that charred body. It seemed so strange, impersonal. I felt no emotions, not a shred of pity. I understand, Fritz. We have to somehow resolve. Our father, I... Our problems are going to be solved. Right, Fritz? Please don't mention our father, Christian. Malcolm. Yes, you always thought that the moral responsibility for our father's death was mine. And you almost convinced me. The finding of the inquest was that he committed suicide. Doesn't matter. There's no point in my protecting you any longer.
I don't want explanations, I told you. The boy's death was a real shock for you, it's logical. The whole business was horrible, so stupid. But you've got to try and forget it. Let me try to help you. You're always so helpful, and if it hadn't been for you, I... must be ready. Wait for me. I won't be long. Or would you like to come with me? No, I don't think so. I don't want to meet anybody. You go, but hurry back, please. So many things to you, Barbara. Uh, I want to tell you everything. Uh, that's a terrible thing. I know, Barbara. Uh, I know. I love you.
Barbara. Barbara. Our files show that your grandfather, Will Bauman, died at this clinic on March 2nd, 1943. This would seem to confirm our diagnosis. Your brother Christian's disease is hereditary. I strongly advise you have him hospitalized before his condition degenerates into a dangerous form of homicidal mania. This should be done no later than September 30th. If you cannot manage to... Yes? Yes, this is he. Near the motel, are you sure? In 20 minutes, yes, thank you. Brother Christian's disease is hereditary. His disease is hereditary. 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 